Primitive navigation is about how people found their way around the planet before the Industrial Revolution. It's about how societies, not knowing the laws of physics, were able to use nature signs to travel the four corners of the globe. Through this study, we will likewise hone these ancient and fundamental skills, reaffirming our direct connections to the world in which we live. Do we notice how many footsteps we take as we walk from one place to another? Over 2,000 years ago, distances were measured in the number of paces. The word mile actually comes from the Latin term for 1,000 paces. How often do we notice the clouds in the sky? Do we realize that the cloud and the wind hold significance? Do we realize that the sunset holds meaning? Do we notice or we can ever see the stars at night? Can we put a name to any of them? Are we able to find our way home solely by using the stars as guides? And can we tell time from the stars? In this course, we will teach the students to become observers of the world around them, to see that we are surrounded by meaning and richness. We will provide the students with the tools that they can open their eyes to the world, use the signposts that nature provides them, and be empowered to tune in. To get there, we'll use our immediate surroundings as a laboratory. We'll learn to quantify distances between local landmarks using simple calculations and from information we gather from our legs, hands, fingers, and of course our minds. We'll learn how to forecast the weather by looking at the clouds in the sky and the direction the wind's blowing. We'll test our ability to forecast the weather compared to modern computers and find that we can do just as well and even sometimes better. Do we notice what the shadows on the ground can tell us? Do we realize the shadows can indicate the time of the day, the time of the year, as well as our place on Earth? The ancients came to learn this through careful observation as well as through trial and error over periods of years and generations. We'll learn about the Earth's orbit to figure out where the sun should be in the sky on a given desert island. Using this, we'll use the shadow of a stick to determine our latitude, and with a clock, our longitude. Through all of these investigations, we will gain a more satisfying universal perspective of ourselves and the worlds that surround us, even in and among a society that is becoming increasingly congested and isolating. Ultimately, by the end of this course, we will see the world and each other through more open and far-reaching eyes.